different. Uh, we had to, you know, tailor some plays a little different, gaps change. But um, I mean, once we can figure that out, how we're gonna enter into the linebackers and stuff, we block is blocking. So we just kind of figure out where our placement's gonna be, and then we just go from there. Is uh, is that more more in the pre-snap part of it, or is it something that you uh, you can figure out before that even? It's a little bit of both. Obviously, film study is going to help, and we're going to be able to, you know, ID them when we come pre-snap. But um, gaps move. You know, they're going to. I'm sure they're going to try to do some stunts and trying to find an entry point into the into the secondary or into the linebacker core and or the D line at that point is what's going to be key. Now you're from Wisconsin, correct? Yes, yeah. I am. Yeah. Where would you grow up? What should we say? I grew up in Franklin, uh, yeah. right outside of Milwaukee. Okay. Um, I played against a couple of the guys um, in high school, so it's definitely a little added. Incentive. <laughs> did uh, did would you grow up a Badgers fan or? Uh, no, nah, not really. Um, I was always really big into the NFL. Oh, I was Packer. a Packer guy, oh. but uh, my grandpa did play for the Badgers growing up, so really? uh, I definitely followed them. That's for sure. What was your grandfather's name? Uh, Don Vandervelden. Okay, mm-hmm. great. And uh, and so coming into this game, I mean, it's always been a very healthy rivalry, a respectful rivalry, um, but very intense too. I mean, what was been what is been your view of it over the years? Uh, it's a hard-hitting game. Physical, uh, both uh, similar styles in terms of we want to run the ball. Mm-hmm. And I know they're going to want to run the ball. And uh, very similar teams uh, yeah. with similar goals and similar build. So that's the way I see it. It's going to be a physical game. It doesn't. This one doesn't really have the rhetoric that some of the other ones do, the in-state game or you know Minnesota or whatever. It's more about the game. It seems almost healthier in some ways. Yeah, I mean it, it's a big game. It's the, you know right. the next game we have, and that's what we're focused on. And um, you know I don't know if we need the rhetoric, is, but it's a, it's a trophy game. It's yeah. a big big conference game, so that's what, that's all we need really. So what's been the conversation like? And I apologize, I don't know your family situation. So uh, have you talked to your grandfather about it or is he? He, uh, I haven't talked to him no. yet, but okay. he always said, you know, while I'm on the Hawkeyes, he's a Hawkeye fan. Okay. So he's, he's been very supportive. And everyone in my family is, you know, they're all high all the way. So uh, okay. on my side, which is good. <laughs> is, he, is he coming to the game? I don't believe he's going to be mm-hmm. able to make it to this one. He's out in, he's down in Florida oh. this week. But um uh, a lot of family members are coming for the game, though. Got a good number of them. It must be exciting to be at this point in the season. Two games left, huge rivalry game, but also having, you know, some pretty big goals in front of you. It's exactly, I mean, obviously we want to be undefeated, mm-hmm. but, you know, we're right in position to get where we want to go. Which, And, um, you know, this is a big game. Everything's laid out for us, and we kind of just got to – buckle down and win. And um, I mean, as a football player, as a competitor, that's exactly what you want.